Still haven't quite um, um, had my feel of the Judge Dread figures for Warlord games. So uh, this is the next lot, Arch Villains of Mega City One. All right, which gives you a bit more variety than the uh, the ones I have been doing up until now. I've done Judge Dread in two versions, um, <coughs> a Street Judge, a Rookie Judge, and eight Block Gang members. But here you get some of the famous ones. All right, you get Me Machine Angel, Judge Death, Judge Grice, Orlock the Assassin, plus his Satellite, and Nero Narcos. So these are my next ones. Well, these are my next four because I'm doing these four. I'm not doing him who is him, right? Um, I can remember I really didn't like the story that he's in. He's basically uh, a human brain in a robot body and I just, I, I didn't care for the story and I certainly don't care for the look of him. This silly, cartoony, wolfy robot. Um, nah, I'm not wasting my time, glue and paint painting that fella. Don't need him, won't be playing him. Um, so move on to these. So. These came yesterday, I've given them all a good wash, um, and here they are. So Judge Grice first, I'll talk more about him when I come back halfway through the painting. But uh, yeah, these are all bad guys from Judge Dredd's universe. Ex-Judge Grice, alright. Looking forward to painting him, and uh, I'll explain why in part two of this video. Then we've got Me Machine Angel, who it's a bit of an odd pose because he's got his head down like he's going to do a headbutt, but he's not he's not exactly running forwards or leaning forwards, so it looks more like he's 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 saying a prayer before dinner. Uh, but a lovely sculpt, lovely detail, looking forward to the the painting challenge on him and uh, and his uh, arm. All right. Next one we've got is Judge Death, the classic, and this is a classic pose, the classic villain, classic pose. Right. Um, looking forward to painting him, choosing the colour variations uh, for it. But the only thing about this figure is uh, what's going on with the top of his head. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of a of a helmet up there. If that's based on a an artist's rendition, it's it's eluding me as to who drew the helmet that flat. It looks like he's had a 20 ton weight dropped on his head. Um, it's meant to be a regular judge's helmet, but with the portcullis across the eye slot. But lovely sculpt, and again in part two, I explain color choices because both he and um, uh, Grice, there are different paths to take regarding reference pictures for color schemes. All right, um, and then the last one is uh, is Orlock the Assassin, who is here, like so. Until I put the primer on, I'm not sure whether he's actually got his trademark scar down over his. Um, eye and lip. All right, I'll figure that out once I put the primer on. Oh, by the way, what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put white primer on um, with the starter set and the dread figures. I painted them in grey primer because that's what I had. But because I use it in contrast paint a lot, contrast paints work over white. So um, if you saw the one about the starter set, you'll see that I had to paint something white before then painting it the colour. So these are going to be white, okay, um, and then colour over the top. This is the stand for his satellite, which, as you can see, that they share in a base. Um, I don't think... S Do they share it? In no, I think they've got... Separate, yeah, they've got separate bases on the box, but I've stuck them together. I'm going to disguise the clear bit around there with rubble. Well, I've got to decide, uh, disguise all the step there with rubble. And his satellite is this nifty, it's very, um, very uh, Star Wars torture droid. It's a brilliant Steve Dillon creation. 
very small. I'm scared if I'm going to lose that. So I'm painting him separately. When when I prime this, I've got to co cover the uh, the clear stand up with uh, masking tape or blue tack or something. Um, this is based on the first appearance of Orlock because that's the first time he had his satellite. Um, as I say, drawn by Steve Dillon, but um, a black and white strip. So I can go in any way I want with um, with colours. But I'm thinking red. I'm thinking all red. Uh, for him and red for the satellite, but I'll come back with everything primed and uh, yeah, the uh, the first lot of colors on All right, so all the figures have had a coat of white primer and at the moment I'm just um, Putting on a base coat washing it putting on highlights, etc, etc um, Orlox Satellite clear stand as you can see it's covered in masking tape for the duration so that's him um, mean machine um, again d doing his skin tones just got to lighten them up they're a bit dark in the recesses right now um, and uh, I've put on blue trousers um, I always think of mean machine in those first um, early stories where he and his family are uh, based on uh, um, you know the Wild West and in my mind Mean Machine um, is in denims now these aren't denim jeans but I'm paint I'm gonna paint them so they look like they am they are and um, I always see him in a white vest so that's what we're doing here he's got some nifty not cowboy boots they're like nifty uh, um, space age boots so I don't know, maybe orange or yellow on them. Uh, looking forward to doing his arm. Again, the light is atrocious. It's coming from one direction, which is just messing everything up. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, I've got to get rid of those darker areas and brighten them up. Um, yeah, Judge Grice. Judge Grice, who is an ex-judge in Judge dreads world um, if you're a corrupt judge you go to Titan um, one of the satellite moons of Jupiter or Saturn one of the two and uh, yeah he uh, he starts a rebellion a revolt takes over Titan and then comes to Mega City one to unleash havoc and um, I'm looking forward to uh, painting him because he's a variation of the judge costume and Initially, I thought I could go the same way as he is depicted in the opening part of the Inferno story, which is like this. And I thought that's quite nifty because it's a variation of the judge's costume, um, but the shoulder pads are green. All right. And in here, he looks to have a blue shirt, blue trousers, or these are judges' trousers, yellow studded gauntlet green gauntlet and I thought that's that's going to look very interesting all right but just like with the slain game the sculptors have done their research and they're very true to the comics because if you look he's got two plain shoulder pads uh, a large chest badge with wings and a skull and then he's got all the rest going on and that isn't what we've just seen that is that look see it's exactly the same so I'm thinking totally black for his uh, for his bodysuit warm yellowy orange for this orange shoulder pads got to check out what his gloves are got to look for a better shot of his gloves and orangey thigh high boots interesting painting challenge looking forward to it um talking about painting challenges i'll judge death here the more i put paint on him the more odd he appears um what i've done is over the white i've done um the contrast paint plague bearer skin which is a nice yellowy sickly color um, and then what I've done, especially, you know, down amongst the toes, between the toes and in places, put on uh, uh, 
Reichland flesh tone to just warm things up and then I've put on Beltan green all right thin down to give me a green tint to everything all right um, and it, it's working fine but this helmet that like I said before is is really bugging me and now now I've done the inside of his mouth and blocked in his teeth it's a strange sculpt I don't know if molding uh, considerations means that you can't have a, a a tapering jaw a thinner mouth but he's almost cartoony and uh, I think the challenge is going to be here to try and in a paint job try and get away from this cartooniness he it's rather peculiar oh rather peculiar is old judge death um, all right, well, there's not much more I can do in uh, in, in stages, so uh, I will return when they're all done. Okay, so this is those four done. Um, mean Machine, which is a lovely sculpt with some lovely detail. I was going to maybe put more red around the, uh, the join between his bionic parts and the fleshy bits but no I've refrained from that so he's a lovely figure I really like him um, who shall we have next yes let's have the former Judge Grice okay enjoyed doing him bit of a uh, uh, um, a chore to try and get a an orange which would match what old Carlos had come up with but uh, there we go so he's really good this Orlock and Satellite um, would be my favorite okay but there's something about the face it's it's not quite right um, the eyebrows especially the eyebrows are really um, uh, thickly sculpted on and I tried painting them black to match his uh, hair and he ended up looking like a, a, a Charlie Chaplin villain um, so I've had to do them in a in a darker brown so they just uh, don't don't stand out so much but uh, enjoyed doing him and his little satellite all right um and then lastly we've got judge death um i enjoyed doing the 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 suit um as you can see i've done him as a judge because i uh, my favorite version of judge death is the original brian bolland version and uh, he hasn't got the decay in um, uniform that uh, later de depictions have him in um, so I enjoyed doing that but it's a very odd figure this I thought this was going to be my favorite but it's actually my least favorite very odd sculpt um, very odd face well mouth it's very cartoony and there's nothing that I could do to take away from that in the painting so that's one thing Another thing, why is his badge all the way down on his hip? I know in this pose, you know, his uh, left shoulder pad would get in the way somewhat, but um, the old uh, Halcyon kit was exactly the same pose, and they managed to do it all right. His badge shouldn't be all the way down there like that. And it's, yeah, this oddity of his helmet, all right, is odd it's like half of it's missing um, yeah and that's odd and then f the, the final thing about this figure which is very strange is you know y you look as I say Brian Bolland's uh, version you know is the definitive one for me that fantastic artwork he did um, and he clearly based um, Judge Death on Max Shrek playing 
Nosferatu in the 1922 film. Um, so this is based on that, but look at the size. Judge Death's not a giant. This this figure is out of scale um, to the rest of the figures. He's not that big. I've got a feeling that this, the sculpting is odd. The size is different. I've got a feeling this figure has come in from somewhere else, you know, um, or it's the uh, uh, an, an original take on these figures when they were a little bit bigger. But yeah, the the sculpting's odd and the scale is odd. So the, I thought this was going to be my favourite figure, but it's not. But uh, there you go. That's those four done. Um, I'm going to take a break now from from collecting these. I'm a bit dreaded out now. Um, I'm carrying on with the um, uh, uh, scratcher building vehicles and terrain for it. But I'll come back at a later date. Um, I think I'm going to do some flyers or something like that. Some vehicles, some of their um, jet bikes or something like that. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> 